Hey friends, 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 hey about the lessons they have learned but I do not have the courage and also the willpower to do so. There are four primary things that Ali Abdul has said that has given me the strength and courage to start this channel. One of the major challenges when I'm making all these YouTube videos is that are the things that I'm sharing is it already very obvious because to me I think that it might not be useful to anyone else anymore. But there's one quote that I took from Ali Abdul which is that what is obvious to you can be amazing to others. This has completely changed my perspective on sharing and give me the the courage and strength to start sharing all this content and do not hide any kinds of information. Even if my ideas can only impact one person and change one person, it's already very sufficient for me. Even still today, I still hold this idea very true every time I make all these YouTube videos. The other struggle that I've met with is that I should be absolutely right with my own personal opinion. But what Ali Abda has said that this is not true. You don't need to be an expert. We just need to share and let people judge it whether they want to believe it or not. I can just share whatever I want as long as it is my own personal opinion and to me it is correct and it is aligned with my own principle. The third challenge that I've met with before I even share any kind of content on YouTube is that I thought that I need to be perfect for my first video. The first video I'm gonna make is probably the worst one ever. But we just need to start making videos. Start pumping out videos on a regular basis and a consistent basis. What I realized after making 30 videos right until now is that the YouTube video that you're gonna produce will never be perfect. However, just try to improve and move towards the direction of making the perfect video. Improve every aspect of it and what you realize is that making the video on itself, polishing the precise skill that you want to master is way more efficient and way more effective. The last struggle that I had was the imposter syndrome. I feel like I am not someone who makes this kind of video. I feel like I'm pretending to be someone else. But in my heart, I still wanted to make videos and also produce value for everybody. Even before watching Ali Abdul, I have already have a major interest in medicine. I wanted to become a doctor because I know that medicine costs is a very time consuming and a very difficult course. I am so scared of starting this YouTube channel because I said that I might not be able to cope with the time management. Ali Adha has become the testament for me that shows that it is possible. It is possible to study medicine for such a difficult course and still maintain a YouTube channel. The next thing is the documentation of my own life in every aspect possible. Ali Abda has shared that we should become the journalist for our own life, documenting every aspect of our life and treating it like a story it has given me much more clarity about the direction I'm going and I just hope that one day when I'm older or I'm like after retirement I can just look back on this diary and see how much I have grown and also how much more matured I have become you can say that it is in a way tracking your progress for your own growth although sometimes you might cringe at your older videos or your older diaries however I'm glad that I'm not that person anymore I just wanted to give my older self a chance to look back at my younger self the next thing that Ali Abda has shared to me is about studying effectively and not wasting any time much on it. Before Ali, I thought that studying is a tenuous and also very very boring task that you simply need to do but Ali Abda has made it very very fun to do so. Every time I watch this video, it felt like a game, a skill that I've learned that I wanted to apply and practice in my study schedule. It made me excited to go and study more. Before watching all his videos, I've been spending too much time on studying, pouring all my time I had into studying only. Put this extra time that I have on other aspects of my life. Like for example, my family, my social life, as well as more time for games and also anime. I went from getting 30th place in my own school to just top 5 in my whole school. So it was like an incredible jump for me. He made studying and also productivity way more interesting and way more engaging to do so. Which I think aligns with his new book, Feel Good Productivity. There are two major study techniques that I've learned from him, which is Active Recall Framework, which saves me a lot of time by increasing my memory retention for all the things I have memorized and scheduling. Scheduling is time blocking and also making my life more and more
more systematic and goal-oriented. The last thing that I've learned from Ali Abdal is the approach to life. Before Ali Abdal, I thought that you need to struggle and also suffer in order to attain certain success or even certain goal that you want in life. What he has introduced me is that instead of struggling throughout your way to get a certain goal, just to achieve a certain goal, we should enjoy the process. The goal is to help us set a direction, to help us have clarity on the things that we want to do. You guys also see this graph is that the most dopamine is produced in the work segment, not the reward segment. So this gives a whole new meaning to enjoying the process. Since young, I personally hated the idea of reading books because it's just so boring to do so. I just think that there are way more engaging ways to read and consume content. Well, Ali has came in and introduced me to the idea that books is a distillation of the person's personal experience into just a short book, which I think is a very cool concept and has pushed me to read more books than before. Although I'm still not reading quite as much, but at the very least, I already read six full books already, which I think personally is a very great achievement already because I was a person who hated reading books. Side note, reading books makes me look very, very cool and highly impactful. I realized after reading all this book is that books has way more depth than any other types of media available. It just gives you a deeper understanding on the ideas and also perspective. It allows me to explore way more different cultures and backgrounds and different types of people around the world. I just think of Ali Abdal as someone who teaches you how to fish for information rather than giving and feeding you all the fishes only. If you really like this video, I'm sure that you're also very interested in how to be more productive and study more effectively. You can also watch this video, which I think you will enjoy quite a lot.